So in this video we will look into simplified control of MIMO systems which will result in a multivariable control kind of a structure. In, our la in my last video you have seen how we can design the um, uh, design the, uh, the controllers like PID controllers for nonlinear system in an adaptive way. Either you use the adaptive way or the gain scheduling way and under what conditions the gain scheduling should be used. Something similar we will now work with MIMO systems, multiple input and multiple output systems and also look and, and look into whether we can be we can use simple structures, control structures like PID. So first of all we will have to understand are we, are we going to consider MIMO system as multivariable CISO systems, multivariable single input single output system. You have for example you have you have 3 input, 3, out, three input and 4 output systems system. So one, four outputs are something like this, right? So now can I consider this as three systems, three separate independent systems with some kind of one input, so three different input, three di different systems with one input and one output kind of thing, all right? So I am going to approximate this MIMO system as multiple CISO system, single input and single output system. And at the same time towards the end or we will frame up what are the methods for decomposing to MV CISO system, all right. So to begin with let us understand what is the control loop interaction. It deals with the MIMO systems definitely deal with multiple input and multiple outputs, also deal with multiple disturbances appearing in the system. We also look into multiple measurements taken from this process plan, MIMO system. So our question always is whether we will be able to use these powerful CISO methods which are more or less giving a simplified design in terms of the PID controllers, all right. If yes, if that is the possibility then we have to figure out which input is to be paired with output for the control system design. All right. So the way we want to decompose, we, we are decomposed into multiple variable, multiple systems and each of the system is having single input and single output. But which input from this MIMO system is to be paired with which output is what we have to figure out. I'm sorry. So then if this particular multivariable control system design is to be considered, this is also is, is the, the underlying problem now becomes the control structure selection means which input is, is affecting that particular output more significantly. More importantly than the actual controller design and the tuning methods that needs to be that, that need to be used for these multivariable CISO system. All right. So now we want to consider that uh, the MV CISO controllers as we have understood. At the same time we have to very much understand that uh, this selection of input to output is, is important and therefore it will result into multiple CISO control loops because now I am going to have multiple systems. So each of the system will have its own control loop and that is going to be, uh, so, so basically we will have to look forward for selecting an output variable that is getting affected by a particular manipulated variable is what the control structure selection problem is. Output variable in, in, in such circumstances is mostly measured and we are also looking into considering the CISO system, CISO based approach for two main reasons. And one of the main reason is that the CISO design is simpler which I have been always saying in this lecture series that we will be looking into control structures as simple as proportional, integral and derivative or their combinations. And at the same time the control blocks are and its softwares are more or less available in the market. So we, their hardware and software are more or less available so one should be able to uh, design the CISO system, multivariable CISO system without 
making any major hardware change or any major software change into it. All right. So we now our job is to define the exact problem. This this problem of control structure selection. This nothing but what boils down to selecting which measured output variable is to be paired with which manipulated input or it is also called variable pairing problem. All right, let's understand this variable pairing problem from a given example. And this is a very classical example of static mixer. Uh, the static mixer considered two flow, two streams of flow and tries mixing it and finally what we have to achieve is a, a flow control as well as composition control. So this is typically used in blending systems like diluting the juice concentrates, mixing in flavors and colors and blending syrups into the milk, um, evenly distributing jelly within molten peanut butter. Imagine you are you have ordered um, a hot chocolate and you would like that particular brand to be followed. And every time you, you are trying to uh, grab this hot chocolate from a given brand from whichever machine, the mixing of the chocolate and the milk, the amount of the chocolate syrup and the milk needs to be fixed. And at the same time, it should dispense out exactly one cup of the, one cup of the hot chocolate. So the two flow streams is hot chocolate, uh, the, sorry, the chocolate syrup and the, and the milk. So chocolate syrup is deciding the amount of chocolate finally in the composition, the, in the final composition. But at the same time, both the flows um, of chocolate syrup and the milk is deciding the, uh, deciding the flow of this, uh, the total, total flow control over here total flow rate at the output. So the problem in general sense is formulated here given that there are two flow rates of stream, two streams of flow um, given by u1 and u2 and at the same time the output total flow, flow rate is given by y2 and the composition is given by y1. So fc is your y2 and composition is your y1. All right. So if the problem statement is that I need to blend a stream of 40% juice with the pure water in order to produce a product stream of 30% juice. So I am reducing the amount of the percentage composition at the output by mixing water into the juice. And I want to control this particular 30% composition at the same time the flow output of it. So how do I, this, how do I pair? the input and output now, right? I, I have two options because there are two inputs and two outputs. I land up into two, two uh, options. One is output input pairing of y1 with u1 and y2 with u2. So y2, y2 is your fc which is flow control is, is paired with u2 or composition is paired with u1. So what is it? The flow control is paired with, um, with the uh, uh, your u so your juice flow juice flow rate with composition means your u1 is your juice flow and u2 is your flow rate in this particular diagram so your juice rate is deciding the composition whereas your water rate is deciding the flow flow control or the amount of the uh, the the flow rate uh, going at the output we have the second option that the water rate, uh, the water rate is deciding the composition and the flow and the juice rate is deciding the flow here, all right. So here the, op, the, op, the pairing is with y1 with u2, y1, y1 output is paired with u2 whereas y2 output is paired with u1, all right. So now let us look into the intuition here. What intuition we have because we have the 40% juice flow that may be deciding the output flow, um, output uh, composition here which is 30% which is expected. So the flow rate of juice U1 is deciding the composition while the water rate is deciding the flow. 
or the uh, saying it in an opposite way the flow rate is controlled by the water rate while the composition control is given to the juice rate here. Fair enough because we are we are kind of considering 40 percent juice uh, here and which get, which should get uh, the output should, you should get as 30 percent. Let us understand the uh, let us observe the behavior of control loop 1 which is my juice, uh, juice rate paired with the output composition. So, when we have this particular uh, control loop 2 is open, control loop 2 is open and we are only controlling the composition with this. So, what we have the observation if I have the change in output y1 means if I want the composition to be changed from 0.3 to 2.31 it is a step change here. The output y1 changes very nicely because u1 is changed but at the same time you see that the flow rate has changed from 4 to 4.2 it is no longer constant for flow because your u2 was constant here it was control loop 2 was open. So, total flow rate is deviating while our objective of composition control is achieved fair enough because our control loop 2 was anyway open. But now what happens if I close the loop 2 as well but so we, we, we would like to maintain the total bend rate at a constant value. Uh, means 1 cup is the output I want to dispense out is the 1 cup exactly. All, so, I do not want to disturb the total blend rate, total flow rate here. So, now input u2 is water flow rate and output y2 is to, uh, total flow rate and now loop 2 is closed. We have a question here how do I tune the control parameters for loop 2. What we will consider that when we are tuning the control loop 2 this is tuned independent of loop 1 considering that the loop 1 is open. If that is the case then what happens is as soon as I had the change in y1 so let us say y1 was changed from, uh, from 0.3 to 0 0.29, 0 0.28 fine. So, what we had was the, um, the y1 has changed so, y1 has changed. So, now, now we have given the distur disturbance. So, sorry, the set point for y2 is 4.2 here. So, u1 is like uh, not making any changes. So, if I am trying to change this particular total blend rate, the because of the u2, the changes ha change happens, but the y1 is now y1 is uh, y1 is now uh, getting disturbed. So, this is the case when loop 2 is closed but loop 1 is open all right. So, we have seen that of course, the objective of that particular loop is getting achieved but the second loop the second second output uh, the other output is getting affected. But in order to control both the outputs we will have to close both the loops. So, as soon as I close both the loops then what happens is that the output and the output is chasing one another and it is not able to control each other. So, do we conclude that we are not able to do the, um, the uh, multivariable CISO way the way we had considered uh, y1, y1 being controlled by u1, y2 is being controlled by u2, uh, there are no interactions at all and that is the reason uh, this particular CISO method multi two CISO systems method is not at all working. It is not a good conclusion because we have not tried the second option yet all right. So, as soon as we try perhaps the second option there is a chance that we will be able to achieve the control uh, properly. And this is rather uh, uh, the case when if I consider the bad variable pre pairing and I consider multiple uh, CISO way, multiple variable CISO way of uh, controlling a MIMO system, then there is a chance that the system may become unstable. So, underlying part is that what characteristics of this control strategy caused the instability? Was it the control tuning or was it the choice of the variable pairing that we did? So, it boils down that the variable pairing is, pair, is, is, is playing a 
very very important role here in decomposing the MIMO system to MVCSO system. Because if I choose a different variable pairing, this kind of instability can be avoided and we may be able to achieve the control with the help of multiple control loops which are of the structure PID itself, the simple control structure itself. All right. So now we have a pairing problem. Now this particular pairing problem is saying is, is ex exact problem is how do we select the pairing for a control structure consti consisting of multiple CISO loops. If I have, uh, so in general, if I have system with M inputs and N outputs. So my transfer function matrix can be written in this particular form. So this in individual G11 of S, for example, is a transfer function between Y1 and U1. While we consider G12 of, uh, G12 of S is a transfer function between Y1 and U2 and so on and so forth. So each of this, since I consider LTI systems again here, this particular Y1 output is nothing but the combination of linear combination of G11S of G1, G11U1 plus G12U2 plus G23, G2, G2, G1, U3 and so on. So each of this Yi of S can be written as the linear combination of linear, linear combination of Uis and their outputs, corresponding outputs uh, through the corresponding transfer function values. Now the question here is, this is LTI system, fair enough. So now when we are designing this particular uh, pairing problem, I will have to consider pairing Yi output with input Uj, all right. So this is what my big question regarding variable pairing is. Is, 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 is about which output yi should be paired with uj. So do I have any good technique which will tell me that I should do this kind of pairing? Because so far in the previous example of the blend example, blend mix, uh, blending example or a static mixer example, we just looked into, okay, we had two inputs, two outputs, we have only two options available of pairing Y1 with U1 or Y1 with U2, right? Um, because I am considering CISO, right? Single input, single output. I can always decompose in terms of the smaller numbers as well. But at the same time, if I am considering CISO, then I need to consider one output to be controlled using one input alone. So that is the simplest way we are looking at. Now if I am looking at that, I had two, in, two outputs and two input systems. I had only two options available. So I could have tried um, both the options, whichever works, fair enough. But if this is a, this, the number of inputs and number of outputs are also large, beyond three, four, beyond four numbers. The number of options that I have in order to consider multiple, op, uh, uh, multiple CISO way, I, I will have it's those many combinations to work out. So do I be looking at all those combinations? No, there should be a better way of analyzing it, which is going to give us some, some way of information that, okay, you should try connecting this output, con considering this output being controlled by this manipulated variable. So Y1 should be manipulated by a particular a particular ui uj or yi should should be controlled by a particular uj so that the variable pairing you so that the multiple ciso loops that we are creating are going to give you solutions as a stable control system using simple structures like pid structures so in my next video we will look into those methods some simple heuristic methods that have evolved for considering MIMO system control with the help of MVC. So these methods also tell you that we should also will give you an insight whether we should be able to do solve the MIMO control problem using MVC. So probably 
which is also a very nice tool for me. I should look into simplified methods of control only if there a possibility exists. But then who will tell me this possibility? These tools are going to give us the possibility. So in the next video we will look into relative gain error method and a condition number method. These are two popular methods, there are many many more and we will look into um, the relative gain met array method and the condition number and their combinations to figure out what pair should be uh, considered for the CISO implementation. See you then.